Hi, my name's Diane Hoffman. I'm an independent paparazzi jewelry consultant. I'm holding the camera on myself, so I'm hoping you can see me. Um, I'm going today to show you a board that I made very inexpensively with dollar store materials, and it holds a lot of jewelry, so I wanted to share it with people who are on a tight budget getting started in this business. Um, so I will show you. I'm not gonna show you me making it because I would not be able to film that, but I'm gonna show you how it was made. Um, it's pretty simple. Okay, and here it is. Okay, so I have my jewelry hanging on here right now. Um, so you can ignore that, but these are three foam boards from the Dollar General. I mean, actually these are from the Dollar Tree or the Dollar General, either one. They're both, they're, they both have them for a dollar each. Um, so this one actually has three boards and they are held together with duct tape. So I basically took two boards and put duct tape right down the middle and then I folded it closed. And the same thing here, and I've added another board, put the duct tape down the middle, and then I just put a duct tape around the edges and along the top to decorate it. And it looks really pretty. Then these hooks, and my hooks are crooked. Um, if I made this thing in about 15 to 20 minutes because I had an event and I wanted to make one. So I did put my hooks in really fast so they're a little crooked, but you could take your time. Um, you could also make earring boards out of this, uh, net, uh, bracelets, um, but I de decided to make short necklaces. I have two rows. Um, you could also use these for long necklaces. You just wouldn't put the other row in. I do use these. Um, you could also just use two boards instead of three. Um, easier to carry, but I really love this setup. Um, and these hooks that they're hanging on, these are also available at the dollar store, the Dollar Tree. Um, they're perfect. They just stick in. Um, and you can see it's an actual hook. I think there are about 40 in a box for a dollar. And I think maybe I used one or two boxes on this one. Um, I used one roll of duct tape on this. I think I got the duct tape at Walmart. And because the hooks will stick out the back, <laughs> Um, now this looks really ugly and I did not get around to making it look pretty yet. Um, I used pool noodle here. So I just took a pool noodle, <laughs> pool noodle and cut it to the right size, stuck it on and uh, taped it on basically. Um, I'm probably gonna put some material here to make it look nice. I haven't decided yet. Um, and by the way, on this particular board, I didn't do it with all of my others. I uh, crazy glued these pins in because they do tend to fall out. And this one, I traveled with this, with sets hanging and jewelry hanging on the entire board. And I think I maybe one pin fell out and I'm not even sure if one did. Um, so it held together really, really well. Um, lots of people <laughs> looked at my jewelry on it. It pops out because it's white. Um, so I just wanted to share that with everybody. Um, I want to spend my money on my jewelry and not on my display at this point in time. Okay, thanks everybody. Um, message me if you have any questions.